the CBI has filed a petition in the Supreme Court challenging the order of the Delhi High Court that quashed all charges against the accused in the Beaufort case. This includes Industrialist, the Hinduja brothers. Interestingly, just recently, Attorney General K.K. Venugopal had advice against the petition, saying with 12 years of delay, it's likely to be dismissed. However, sources have told NDTV, CBI officials met with the AG this morning and showed him fresh documents. The AG then gave the go-ahead. But is that all? Is there more to this story? I have our political editor joining us, Sunetra. I mean, just last week, or I think it was about 10 days, when the AG said, it's just not worth it, don't pursue the case. And now suddenly this turnaround, a political decision or a legal decision? Well, you know, you can't, when you ask that, Manika, you have to remember just a few months ago, the BJP's union minister, Smriti Irani, had a press conference and there released uh, what they call documents to show private investigator Michael Hirschman's statements that Michael Hirschman had apparently met then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi and said that he was hiding things, that he was in touch with also Anand Khashoggi, an arms dealer at that time. And soon after that, the CBI released a statement saying that they were looking into these new developments and will act on it. What is significant is that, yes, the Attorney General, our country's top law officer said, it's too late. After 12 years, you're not going to find any new evidence. But we are told the CBI met with the Attorney General before this appeal was filed in Supreme Court 12 to 13 years later and they convinced him that this Michael Hirschman, a private investigator's statements and allegations against Rajiv Gandhi are worth going into an appeal for. What is very, very significant of course and we can't forget it is an election year and this ongoing appeal and we have to wait and see whether the Supreme Court thinks it's significant enough or not if admitted, will give the ruling party a great ammunition to attack the Congress party with. Because, let's not forget, in the 80s, this is what brought down the Rajiv Gandhi government.